Hello everyone, my name is David Kohar and I want to walk you through how we've expanded lead qualification inside of Microsoft Dynamics 365. Now as a point of review, whenever we have a lead in the solution and we qualify it, we create an account, a contact, and an opportunity by default. And out of the box, there's a few scenarios that are actually supported. Of course, that base case scenario that works in a lot of examples where you're creating the account, contact, and opportunity. And in some circumstances, of course, you're going to want to not create the account or not create the contact because you already have an existing account or contact in the solution. But in every circumstance, out of the box, you're going to create an opportunity when you qualify a lead. Now, of course, some customers have come back and expressed the need to be able to only create the account or contact, but not create the opportunity. And in some circumstances, they not only want to not create a brand new opportunity, but they want to associate it to an existing opportunity. So we created the lead qualification solution to allow for this additional flexibility. Let me show you how that works inside of Dynamics 365. So I've logged into Microsoft Dynamics 365 and I'm looking at and have navigated to my leads area. I'm going to go ahead and open up this lead. And if I go ahead and qualify this lead, it's going to create that account contact and the opportunity in the solution. Of course, it's going to create a new company record called Trident Foods. It's going to create a contact and associate it to that account for Mara. And then ultimately it's going to create an opportunity. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's the base case scenario. I'm going to go ahead and qualify this lead. And as it does that, of course, it makes this record read only. It sets it to qualified. And you can see here that um, this record is now a read only record. Now, if I come over to the companies area and I navigate down here, we'll now see that Trident Foods, Seafoods has been created. So there's a new account in the solution and Mara has been created as associated contact. And if we scroll down here and look under opportunities, we're going to see there's a new opportunity called trade show lead. I'll go ahead and open that up. It's our opportunity. I can go ahead and even change this. And that's our opportunity. If I want to go backwards and look at that lead, I can click on the qualify tab here and it will take me back to that actual lead itself. Now let's go back to leads again. I'm going to navigate through the sales area and come back up to leads. Now let's go ahead and open up this lead and this time I want to associate this lead to an existing account, an existing contact and an existing opportunity. In that example where maybe you've been at a trade show or somebody's come in through your one of your social channels and they're already an account and contact in the solution even though a lead was created and maybe there's an opportunity that's already going on so we want to make that association. So you can see here on this particular lead at the top, we can actually associate it to an existing account, existing contact. So in this case, we've actually already associated this particular lead to an existing account called 3M head, Corporate Headquarters. I might even want to see if John is in the solution already or not. I can do a quick search and it looks like John is not in here. So I'm going to create a new contact. But we actually may have an existing opportunity. So down here under the qualification area that gets added with our solution, we can come down here and have a quick look. So I'm going to have a search on all of our opportunities for 3M. And as I scroll through it, it looks like there's actually a 3M tape adhesive project that's already being tracked. And that's what this particular gentleman's interest is in. So I'm going to go ahead and associate this existing opportunity to this particular lead instead. Now, as we go through this, I don't want to create an account. So I'm going to say no. I'm going to say yes, that we want to create a contact and no, we don't want to create an opportunity. And when I do that and I now qualify the solution, what's going to happen is that John Walker is still going to get created. The lead is still going to get qualified and become a read only record. But instead of creating a brand new opportunity, this lead now will get associated to that existing opportunity. So let's go ahead and first navigate to 3M corporate headquarters. So you can see the account itself. You can see that John Walker got created here as a new contact. If I go down to the opportunities area, you'll see that there's actually an opportunity here, but it's that existing one that we had already. And when I open that up and scroll down here, we've added a tab called leads to see what all the associated leads are. And I can see here that the John Walker lead was associated to this existing opportunity. 
So that summarizes our lead qualification solution. So I want to wrap up. I want to thank you for watching our brief overview on how we have expanded lead qualification inside of Microsoft Dynamics 365. If you have any questions about our solution, please reach out to your account director. Thank you.